Russia, where the Kremlin has labeled the United States as an enemy, reportedly for the first time. The remark was made by Vladimir Putin's press secretary, Dmitry Peskov. Until now, neither Putin nor the Kremlin had ever referred to the United States as an enemy of Russia. During a press briefing, Peskov said, quote, We are now an enemy country for them, just as they are for us. Now, this was in response to a claim made by a former American intelligence officer who was recently barred from traveling to Russia and had his passport confiscated by U.S. border officials. Now, the Kremlin shift in rhetoric comes days after U.S. President Joe Biden allowed Ukraine to strike inside Russia with some American weapons. Latest reports say Ukrainian forces have used U.S. weapons to strike Russian targets inside Russia to defend the Kharkiv region. Now, this has angered Putin even further, who has now warned that Moscow could arm other countries with similar weapons to attack Ukraine's Western allies. What must we do in response? First of all, we will improve our air defense systems to destroy the missiles. Secondly, we think that if someone thinks it is possible to supply such weapons to a combat zone to strike at our territory and create problems for us, why do we not have the right to supply our weapons of the same class to those regions of the world where there will be strikes on the sensitive facilities of those countries that are doing this against Russia? Now Putin's remarks comes as Russia is expected to send combat vessels into the Caribbean region this summer to participate in naval exercises. This will likely include port calls in Cuba and potential stops in Venezuela. Washington says Russia wants to show that it's still capable of some level of power projection. However, the Biden administration does not view the deployment with alarm since Russia repeatedly sells ships into the Western Hemisphere. But now, with tensions increasing between the two nations over the war in Ukraine, it remains to be seen if Russia's naval drills will become a flashpoint of heightened alarm for the United States. <clears throat> all right, Shalom, this is Gamali Allah. I'm Great Millstone in Atlanta. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. It's a quick lesson, and um, it's going to be dealing with uh, Russia is now has now declared itself an enemy of the United States. And um, uh, uh, as you saw on the video, Okay, uh, this is for the first time ever. And, um, you know, the reason being, uh, well, I mean, they've been longtime enemies, but, you know, now I guess it's being spoken finally. But, uh, and um, you have uh, what's it called the uh, uh, United States, as they said, as they explain, basically to put it in simple terms, the United States armed... Ukraine with weaponry Ukraine took that same American weaponry and attacked uh, Moscow I believe and so Vladimir Putin was basically saying well what if we do the same thing what if we what if Moscow arms other uh, uh, sorry Ukraine to attack you know a western a western a company in the uh, I'm sorry a country in the western hemisphere okay so, but that goes to show you America is always in the middle of everything. You know, here it is. You have Ukraine. These are both countries that are, well, Ukraine really is Russian territory. Because when you go into the history, that uh, region belonged to Russia, which that's uh, Putin's whole reasoning behind obtaining that territory back, you know, getting that, getting that region back uh, within Russia. Now, um, you have United States that's basically always in the middle of stuff, man. You know, they're always, always in the middle, always meddling. So let's get this. Let me start with this. Jeremiah 51 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that have made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk and have wine, therefore the nations are mad. Okay? So yeah, America's everywhere, man. You know, what drunk and what? That wine 
okay, those philosophies and ways of Western society, you know, Western culture, Western democracy, all right, which, um, you know, these ways have, have uh, rubbed off on other countries and everyone has done dealings with America, man, you know, all these countries have done some form of, of agreements and dealings with the United States. And when it says, therefore, the nations are mad, <laughs> okay? You know, and um, anytime you look up within international news, America is somewhere in the midst of it. You know, anytime you look up, if it's something uh, major or, or you know, uh, bad or upsetting that, that's happening, nine times out of ten, America is somewhere in the midst of it. In the midst of the, the issues, okay? But uh, also, you know, it goes into, uh, you know, um, this video would go into Ezekiel 38, which we always bring out how the Lord is going to put hooks into their jaws. And I'm not going to read the whole thing. Rose that, you know, I've been around should notice. But we'll get into it. Ezekiel 38, briefly. It says, uh, and I will put. Uh, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army and, and horse uh, ho I'm sorry horses and horsemen all of them clothed with all sorts of armor even with a great company with bucklers and shields all of them handling swords okay so yeah um, yeah the Lord is going to um, um, uh, you put put hooks into the jaws because uh, when you read up in verse 3 it says Gog and Magog which is today modern day Russia all right and um, he's going to put them back into a very militant spirit we always bring up the USSR and the USSR was a very mighty uh, nation man you know they were damn near I mean they were a world power but they but during the uh, Cold War you know there was a race of dominance between uh, the USSR and uh, the United States, okay, which the United States uh, would prevail, but that goes to show you the power of, of uh, Russia, but that also goes into the history of them being enemies, that, that proves the fact that these two uh, uh, world powers, they're indeed enemies, because you have the... Uh, bricks and you have nato okay and these are two different um uh, uh how do i say collectives of countries two different groups of countries that you know form together to uh to uh commence trade deals uh pre you know there's a level of protection you know that they uh give to one another and there's um yeah just business business deals and protection and then on like i said that, well that's nato and then you have BRICS, which do the same thing but that's uh brazil russia india china and uh south america uh, i'm sorry um yeah south america all right so you know these uh uh these are enemies, man. These are enemies. They're on opposing sides. You know, the BRICS wants to dump the dollar. That's among their uh, top. That's among their top uh, uh, goals is to dump the dollar. All right, which that's that that can be taken from America as an enemy move. All right, so you wanna you don't wanna you know use our our currency anymore the petrodollar so you know they they're just on opposing sides but the, the scriptures say if satan be divided against satan how can this kingdom stand which all these different groups they're all edomites man you look at who job 9 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked well look at the these countries who are is, are they ran by <laughs> they're ran by so-called white people they're just on opposing sides of the of of the world, you know. Oppose. They're just on opposing sides, 
you know, uh, uh, opposing viewpoints, all right? So, you know, there's military, there's military moves being made on both sides. Scriptures also speak, uh, speak about wars and rumors of wars, okay? So, there you go, there you have it. You know, this thing is happening, man, you know? And um, Putin, Vladimir Putin, is is uh, uh, you know he, he called out their hypocrisy. He said, "Well, you know, if I was to do the same thing, you know, so they're clearly enemies. That's the point. They're clearly enemies. These two different sides, okay? And it's surprising. Or it's not surprising that they're coming out and saying it, but it is surprising how long." It took them to actually declare the fact that they're enemies, but this is a heavy. That's a heavy statement. Okay, this is prophecy. This is prophecy, because ultimately, at the end all be all is will is America will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, and a lot of those missiles are going to come from Russia. You know, uh, and as and and Russia supplying other countries with missiles as well to to shoot on America. All right. So yeah, this is like I said, this is prophecy, man. This is all prophetic. It's all relevant, you know, and that's what's going on. So, you know, I just wanted to speak on those different things. You know, Lord really you edified and all by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone. Shalom.